بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله it is a blessed day here in the month of Rabia al-Awwal we are joined to today with sister Simran and her four beautiful friends who are part of this journey with her. She has decided at the tender age of 15, mashallah, to make the move forward and take her shahada today. It is really a, an, an, a very momentous occasion for all of us. We've all been very emotional just um, uh, in, in, in these past few moments leading up to this. So we are Really, really honored to have all of you here. I would love for myself and all of us here to hear about your journey. Simran, would you like to share some words about how you got to this point? Okay, so I was raised like with Hinduism and then I went to a Christian school so I was taught Christianity and then when I changed schools, I was introduced to them and they started teaching me about Islam. So it started making more sense in Christianity. So then I was like, why should I believe in something that doesn't make sense to me when I should just convert to Islam? Which wow. makes sense to me. And how long have you been studying it now with your friends? Maybe less than a year. Less than a year. And so who in this friends group, if I can ask one of you perhaps to also share, who did you meet first or who, who met Simran first here? You want? Did you want to share how this friendship came together and how did you in start to introduce Islam to her? Yeah, so basically I had a friend who introduced me to her because I didn't really know her that much. But then I got to know her and like, you know, find out that she's trying to convert to Islam. So I just try to help. That's wonderful. And then the rest of you all kind of just started yeah. hanging out together. So, you know, today, as you all know, religion isn't really a topic that I think adults anyway think teens are that interested in. So we're, we're pretty, I think, blown away that you all felt so comfortable to talk about these topics. Now, did one of you initiate the, the conversation around religion or were, were you just curious? Did you ask questions? Yeah, I started asking questions. You started questions. asking questions and then you started to yeah. answer those questions. Yeah. That's beautiful. Okay, wow. And so less than a year and you've been studying and so you, you know about the core beliefs of, of Islam. You know about the five pillars. Yeah. Great. Uh, and you know the obvious differences between Islam and, as you said, Christianity, which you were studying before, that you know, we, we do not believe in a triune God and we're a monotheistic tradition. Very good. Okay. Well, I know that you are really eager for this moment, so I don't want to delay any longer. Um, so the process to become a Muslim is really easy. Alhamdulillah. It's, you just have to declare in front of witnesses uh, that you believe and that you testify to the belief that is firmly in your heart. And so we, we actually always say that you've, you're already Muslim because clearly even upon meeting you, we could see the, the love uh, in, your, in your, just your presence. So it's already there, but this is just a formal process that so we do. So I will uh, read the phrase that, or the declaration, the testimony um, in Arabic, and you can repeat after me. And I'll go very slow so that I... I don't rush you through it, and um, and then I'll read the translation, and that'll be it. It'll be a very simple process. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so we say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We say, Ash, Ash, Hadu, Hadu, An, Al, La, La, Ilaha, Ilaha, Il Allah, Il Allah, Wa, Wa, Ash, Ash, Hadu, Hadu. Anna, Anna Muhammadan, Muhammadan Rasul Allah. Rasul Allah. Very good, mashallah. Takbir. Alhamdulillah. So that is the phrase you just said. I testify that there is no God with a small g, right, worthy of worship except the one and only true God. And I testify that Muhammad is his last and final messenger. So. Simran, welcome to Islam, although we know that you, as I said, already were Muslim coming in here. You, this is a, a, a brand new day for you. This is a day where you are reborn, you are completely sinless. I mean, mashallah, you probably had very few already <laughs> at being 15, but even so, 
it's a beautiful moment, and I want to give you and your dear friends a moment to 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 just uh, be with one another, and then we can um, ask some questions. Maybe they have some reflections to share. So go in for it, sisters. We can share some some hugs. Inshallah. There are going to be a lot of tears today <laughs> and reflecting back on this beautiful day. Happy tears, of course, tears of joy, of relief, of gratitude, immense gratitude. And it's a beautiful reminder for all of us as well who have been gifted this deen to see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides whomever he wills. And here we have someone at 15 who, mashallah, heard the call and is responding. And alhamdulillah for beautiful company. What a, what a wonderful display to see these beautiful sisters on this journey together. You know, we sometimes underestimate uh, our younger generation, but mashallah, this is uh, a, a reminder for all of us. The power of beautiful gatherings, beautiful friendships, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for sharing. May I also have a hug? Sure, yes, thank you. <laughs> I know there's going to be a line of people also after this, but I'd like to now just ask, Do you, would all of you maybe take a moment, just because we want this memory to be preserved for our dear sister Simran, what reflections would you like to share for her? Any just one advice maybe that you have based on your experience? I mean, clearly, mashallah, you all love this faith. Alhamdulillah. What advice would you like to impart? I know you've, you've probably already been giving her, but anything that you want to tell her now? Here we go. I'd like to say that, like, Sometimes, like, in life, things happen where we get very stressed and our soul is finding peace, and we don't know where to look for that peace. And I remember a time in my life where I was very low, and I was looking for peace, and I would go to people, friends, and family to find that peace. I'd talk to them about my problem, and that they tried their best, but my soul didn't find what I was searching for. And even as a Muslim... You don't, just because you're a Muslim doesn't mean you found Deen. You have to look, for it, you have to search for it. And through that hard time, when I really, like, I didn't know any other option, I decided to go to Umrah. And when I saw the Kaaba for the first time, that's when my soul got the peace it was looking for. And that was the day I realized that no matter where you look for peace, the peace is always with you. Allah is always with you. So when you turn to Allah, that's where you find your ultimate peace. So my advice to her is that don't ever look for peace in people or friends or anything but Allah, because that's where you're never going to get disappointed. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Did you have something to share? Okay, mashallah. I know it's, it's a very overwhelming moment right now, so mashallah. You guys will have plenty of time to talk, but any, anything you'd like to share, Iman? Yeah, um, I feel like the outside world is like, you know, they teach you the wrong things and stuff. And if you're sad and stuff, you talk to people about it. But I feel like the most important thing and person you should talk to is Allah because no matter what, He's been with you and always will be with you. These are sagely words of wisdom, really. Simran, mashallah, thank you so much for sharing, ladies. And thank you for also sharing your journey. Did you have any final words to share? Uh, yeah, yeah, right now it's a lot, mashallah. Well, thank you. I want to, on behalf of MCC, this community, thank you so much for choosing this uh, masjid to take your shahada. This is your family. We are your family. You have these beautiful friends as, of course, your extended family, but you've just uh, inherited a lot of more brothers and sisters, inshallah. And we hope to see you here as often as possible. I do halakas here. Dr. Rania has women's halakas. There's also other wonderful programs throughout the month that you can participate in. And we also have a gift here for you that we uh, curate for our new converts, mashallah. It's got everything that you need as you um, 
continue to uh, grow in your faith, inshallah. Again, thank you for the honor. This is just such a um, tremendous gift you've given us. You know, there's a lot of things people could be doing on a Tuesday morning, but I wouldn't be anywhere else. So thank you, Simran. May Allah make it easy for you, inshallah, and continue to uh, open uh, your, your path and, and bring you more and more beautiful souls like the friends that you have here. Thank you. Thank you too, as well, ladies. Thank you all. Alhamdulillah. Jazakum Allah khairan.